Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're we'll working with our farmer and getting farming automated. I want to show you guys what I've done. So I placed my farming station right here, and as you can see, it, it did clear out a little bit of area, but I didn't go over. I mean, I didn't do too much. I just placed this guy down, um, and it did collect a few items. I had already cleared out a little bit of what this done, and then replaced it because I placed it off center. I think I want to keep it in the center. At least for now, um, because right below it is our culinary generator. Now, I can put speed upgrades in here to make this guy better, but that requires a bit of redstone. Um, we need to figure out what fuel is actually going to be the best to get out of this thing. And if we look, we can see the range. I did put the double in there. It actually goes out one more. It just doesn't have the power to clear out this extra area. So it will get our sugar cane. It will get our potatoes. It'll get a good chunk of this. And that's about all we really need it to get. Is all that. So. What to do. Well. Uh, since this is not getting that much power. At the moment. I'm thinking about changing the fuel source. Somebody did say fish. Will work a lot faster. Um, I'm not sure. If regular fish works. You need to clear this out while I'm over here. We got backed up, backed up stuff. All right, um, I think these I'll just delete. Yeah, we can try fish, try salmon. Let's see what this does. So this is gonna go ahead and cook up. This says 15 seconds. This one's five seconds. So it takes a lot less time. This generates 16 RF tick. I was also told that the slime generator actually works a lot better too. I wonder if cook, cook salmon actually goes faster. Somebody said it was 40 RF a tick, but I'm not sure if 40 RF a tick is working. Um, doesn't seem to be doing enough. So yeah, this is not going to have enough power to fuel this 60 RF a tick machine. So we need to figure something out. So. What we can probably do, um, if we, let's see, come down here, let's go ahead and remove this guy for right now, and maybe we can extend the power. I don't know if these will connect directly to Ender IO conduits, but we're going to test that out real quick. If as soon as I find my conduits, which I don't see them, it's always hard to probably put them in the mod, yeah. So let's see if we can get these guys, the wire, to connect. I don't know if you can put multiple connections on this guy. We're going to find out. Oh, our fish is up there too. I want to grab that. There we go. So let's see, will this connect? Yes, it will. Okay, let's break this and that one. There we go. Now we should be able to feed power to this. Cannot attach a wire here, but we can attach a wire to the front of this. So all we need is another low voltage cable the low voltage should be fine for this I think doesn't really say um, low voltage wire connector just some copper and some hardened clay and do we have more hardened clay We can get some, but I don't know if we have any in here. I don't see any. Okay. So we'll get the hardened clay. And we need... Let's see. We only needed four, but... We'll go ahead and make eight, just in case we need to make some later. Later. 
and this shouldn't take very long. And we will definitely have the things we need. Okay, so if we can hook this here, we can kind of judge um, how much power this thing is actually going to produce. And then we can probably feed power to it. And I think the cable should reach. It should reach from here. Most likely it will. Alright, let's get our clay. And we do get a little bit of experience from that. And it was two clay. And that gets us four connectors. We should be able to set a connector just like this. Hook our wire. And hook it up. Okay, so we have wire dangling on the ceiling. Um, but that's fine. Let's check. Oh yeah, this is getting plenty of power at the moment. Plenty. So, it doesn't tell us how much we're actually gaining by, but I think this internal buffer here is draining. That's what's happening. But it looks like we're we're generating quite a bit of energy. Let's say click for Tesla display model. Don't know what the difference is. Maybe it works with different powers. Oh, I bet. So yeah, it's still powering itself, and that's staying full. So that's good. And it's powering this uh, with about 100 RF. So, okay. So it looks like every process that this takes does change some stuff. Um, I do have a bit of canola in here because I do have a chest up here that I've been storing stuff in. So I do have enough canola to kind of fill this up for now. But of course, our canola situation is going to change because we're gaining canola this way. From this little farm over here. And we need to figure out a way to pipe stuff down. So right now, we can, this is just going to store up until there's no room for anything. Um, so we need to store a few things. So I think one of the better ways of doing that might be to drop this down one more and bring um, Ender IO conduits. Or item conduits. I'm not, I'm not too sure because I'm n I, I really am not familiar with all the mods that are currently in this pack. I probably should just keep going into our quest book what do we what do we get oh we got diamond tools that's right a diamond hoe um, but yeah I'm not too familiar we were under automation when we did this and greenhouse glass will actually make the uh, stuff go faster but what exactly would be better Huh. So there's there's really not anything in here that's of much interest to me. I'm sure it tears off into some good stuff. But I want to get this farmer automated. Um, so canola. Canola is basically the only thing that we really need to get over there. Uh, we need to get it over into here. So, alright, let's... Let's go ahead and drop this down. Just one more. And then we can hook this to the bottom here. That should be okay. And then we'll take our wire again. And hook it back up. Okay. So we got some low hanging wire here. No big deal though. That's still getting powered. We need our item conduits, which I'm not exactly sure where they're at. There they are. We only have 16. Um, well, this is definitely not going to be enough to get them over there. Even if we zigzag it. Because I'm going to want it hooked into here come out and like the best way is probably to zigzag it out all 
I don't know if that that shouldn't use more. But we can we can easily make some more stuff. Let's go ahead and make five. Five more pulsating iron and um alloys only furnace. Well, alloys only. We'll make some more pulsating iron. Um, I also need to bring bring this this over here as well. Yeah, we definitely need pulsating iron. And I'm pretty sure we have conduit binder. This guy is empty. We have no more coal. Um, I can convert this furnace generator into a slime generator. Should I convert it? Yeah, because getting a furnace generator is nothing. Now... Getting this slimy generator would not be hard to do. Wait, that's buckets of slime. Why is it showing... Oh, it shows different recipes. Okay. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's just make one of those. I wonder if that actually will net us more power. Um, I also would like to upgrade these chests. Um, I know we might be moving away from chests soon, but I'm... Um, at the moment, we kind of have a lot of chests. Okay. So... My, my inventory is so unorganized at the moment. Um, we need two redstone. And that's about it. And we need this furnace. Oh, I can't pick it up because we have... That noise. Where did that go? It seems so easy to break just a second ago. And now it's really hard to break. Okay, now we can make this furnace slimy generator. And let's see what this guy does. Um, okay, so it's got two spots in here. So what's, what exactly does it require? Ooh, that I don't know. Okay, so it requires slime and milk? Milk? 400 RF a tick? Oh, we have cows. We can do that. Oh yeah. This might be a really good source. Nothing's working. Wait, what? Oh, four slime balls. Oh, man. That lasts 24 seconds? That'd be really hard to automate. I mean, you would have to have cows and stuff set, or... There's something from Pam's Harvest Craft, I don't know if it's still a thing. There is a milk jar. You drop an anvil and a cow, and you'll get the milk jar, which will constantly gain milk, just like a cow does. Okay, so this might not be the greatest, <laughs> greatest source, as long as we have milk, I guess. And four slime balls. This might work. But yeah, okay, let's get back to what we were working on. Keep getting, uh, keep getting off track here. I need binder. I really don't like the sound of the witch. Oh, and, um, speaking of the witch, fighting the witch, which, it's not always a witch, to be honest. 
it's not always a witch, so. Sometimes it's a guy, but lightning shoots everywhere. And it's so hard to keep up with the lightning. Okay, so this guy is here. We need to get a filter. I don't know how hard it is, how hard it's going to be make filters. Because um, we're going to need regular basic filters, so a bit of iron. Let's see, we have not enough iron plates. Hopefully this stays powered enough. It does have a bit of power in there. Okay. So that's a thing. Maybe we could... Well, I don't think you can pump. It would be nice if you could pump milk into it. And it would be a lot nicer. Okay. Um, sticks would be another thing. There's a generator that uses sticks. Alright, so we're waiting for the plates mainly. And then we can get a hopper. Right? Am I making the hopper wrong? Probably am. Oh yeah, we need a chest. By the way, I am low on actual logs. Logs are not my friend at the moment. And we actually... Okay, here we go. Yeah. Did I do it wrong? I did something wrong. Let me actually store some stuff really quick. We are getting overran with items. I don't even know what to do with all this. Oh, man. Um, let's see. I really need to upgrade these chests. I keep saying that, but that's something that's going to have to happen soon. Because I cannot keep doing this. Okay, hopper. Tin. Oh, it's tin plates. Okay. I think we have some tin in here already. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. And then we have sugar cane, so we of course have paper. We actually need more. All right, now we have enough. And we can make a basic item filter. And this item filter is going to basically tell it to, hey, pull canola out, please. Please pull canola out. Can I access, maybe if I jump. Okay, I'm gonna have to somehow get up here I didn't want to do that, but we're going to have to. Okay, so we're under extract. Put this filter in here. Before we start extracting anything. And I want to make sure the canola is what's getting extracted. And set it to always active. And it's on the green channel. I, that doesn't matter, though. Okay, let's go back down, pick up our stuff. Wow. Okay, and our power's hooked up. Now let's just go tell this guy. I really want to fly, as if you couldn't tell. Tell this guy, insert. And it should start inserting any canola that we get into here. Okay. Even though I, I probably should change the way this is working. Probably should have a buffer. 
So I should probably take one of these storage crates. I'll probably do that eventually. Um, because there really does need to be a buffer. So in case it starts overflowing, if we ever do get to that point, probably with greenhouse glass, we might. Oh, it's planting canola here. I don't want it doing that. Hmm. I can't really stop it from doing that. I, I don't exactly know how to stop it from growing plants where these things should pop up. Hmm. Well. That is not good. Um, but all the other stuff is going to build up in here. Um, let's see. Anything else I can do to kind of speed these crops up? That's another thing. Um, crop growth is a little slow without the glass. So, greenhouse glass is an option. And it is actually one of our quests under automation to get greenhouse glass. We need eight greenhouse glass, we get eight more. What does it take to make greenhouse glass? Um, greenhouse glass, okay. It requires an empowered palace crystal block, glass, and some saplings. And that makes eight. Okay, so this is not that bad. Um, cyan dye, we can easily get cyan dye. I think we can do this. Um, first step. Let's clear inventory. I'm just going to put everything in here for right now. Um, and we'll come back to it in a second. But we need all of our stuff out. Um, cause we're gonna, we're gonna work on this bad boy. And we're gonna try to do it as fast as possible. Okay, getting these guys. Getting the empowered palace, we're gonna need nine lapis or nine clay so let's just get some clay as much as we can we'll do this for now if we need more we can come back and get more let's turn this actually I think you can turn it into a block and then use the block for the greenhouse glass, right? Yeah. Oh wait, no, you need to turn it into palace. So we have to actually have nine of these, turn this guy, get our palace blocks and come back Prismarine shards, three prismarine shards, and one cyan die. Okay, we should be able to get cyan die pretty easily. One, there's our cyan die, and prismarine shards. We have one in here. I'm sure we have more. Perfect some weird lag, but we got everything we need. We should be good to go. So, all these are around it like this, and then our block of palace, I think I'm pronouncing that right, palace blocks. Place the palace block in the center, and we should be getting greenhouse glass really soon. So this is going to drain a bit of power to make this thing. It's going to take a little bit longer than normal um, because it is a whole block of this stuff. And this stuff is used for other things in the mod. But yeah, it's kind of the first time using the uh, Empower. That's pretty exciting. There we go. We got our Empowered Palace block. And we're going to need some saplings. That is something I'm pretty sure we have. Saplings. Four saplings. And what else was it? Four saplings and glass. So, glass. We have glass. Perfect. And now we have greenhouse glass. Another quest off of our books. We get our rewards. I want more greenhouse glass. Oh, we get both of those. Um, I want the utility. 
Awesome. So we have 16 greenhouse glass. That's actually a lot. That's a lot. That's a... Uh... Yeah, that's a bunch. And we don't have to worry about making that now. Um, so let's go up and actually place some greenhouse glass. I'm gonna take a look at the tool tip. I didn't like the sound of that. That sounded like something... Okay. Very effective way to speed up your crop, crop growth. Place anywhere above the plant as long as there is no blocks below... Or, yeah, below obstructing the path of the sunlight above the grass. It will significantly speed up the growth of the plant. Um, obvious, obviously has to be daytime too. Thought that that was obvious. Okay. We want it over these guys. I think I want it up one more than currently set. So let's let's go ahead and get pumpkin. It will not let me place the block. Uh, okay. I'll place it. Man, can I not place pumpkin? Okay. I guess we'll get some building blocks. These will obviously work. I'm guessing... Yeah, they don't place on this. Oh, man. Okay. They won't place on this either. They'll f just fall and break. Let's try this. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. At least we can pick the stuff up. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay. Now let's get it over the area that we're actually going to be worried about. There we go. And it says it doesn't have to be a certain height, so... We should be good just to place it this high. Well, that was not actually enough. So we need nine more. Actually, eight more. Oh, wow. We could probably do this one more time. We got we got a few minutes. We could, we could do a few more. Totally. We could totally get a few more made. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure we have all the materials, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh yeah, we are... We are gonna have this down. We have so many items now, it's unreal. Um, the only... I mean, we just don't have the power to really... Get things going. That's the problem. Um, I was fixing to say, we were looking low on saplings, but I think we have them in there. We don't have any in... Yeah, we have saplings. Oh, man, we got a bunch of spruce saplings. Okay, so that's still working, and we just need glass. Look at that. We got ourselves some more greenhouse glass. And this is going to really help with our canola situation. The more that, of this that we can actually produce, the better. And leaving that open will work perfectly. So it does need to be daytime. Um, unfortunately, it's not daytime, so you're probably not going to see it working too well. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, you know what? I don't honestly need these to be here. Um, we can just make it more canola. You know what? Why not make it just more canola? And let's go ahead and break. Break all this. Let's just make it canola. I'm pretty sure that will work perfect. And we can also cover this in greenhouse glass later. 
it'd be the same as having a little farm over here as well. Awesome. I don't know why that got broke. Eh, more worms don't hurt. Probably because there's no water there and we needed a worm. But yeah, we got everything we needed. Awesome. We got canola going. You know what? We can actually just go ahead and get ourselves even more canola seeds. Why not? Because we're right here towards the end of the video. And it's looking pretty awesome. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.